that uh, you, know, you need to know is that these things, are, when you first start out learning, there is a learning curve to these to get used to it because this, this tool, when you're driving a screw, the, the mechanism doesn't kick in, the hammering doesn't kick in right away. It starts out just like a regular drill and then when it starts senses resistance, then it starts hammering. So there is a little bit of a learning curve because this turns at a higher RPM initially than your regular drill. So the, the 18 volt models are a little bit harder to learn on. That's one example, one reason why I like to uh, recommend to people to start out maybe with a 12 volt model. One of these that we've got over here, a little bit smaller. The, the hammering mechanism tends to kick in right away no matter what fastener you're driving. So they're really a good tool for shop use, for building furniture and projects in your shop. They're also a good supplement to have for a regular drill. A disadvantage that, that an impact driver has versus a standard drill is when you're gauging the screw depth, if, it, if it's in a hidden situation, like if you're into a pocket hole where you can't see the screw head, or if you're working up underneath of a sink and you're driving bolts up to, to secure a sink or secure the top to the, to the cabinets or something like that, is that sometimes that it's hard to gauge how, how far to drive your screws if you can't see it very well. Uh, the, the, a normal drill has the clutch to help you in those situations so that it, it will, it'll, it'll engage the clutch and stop the driving, but, a, but an impact driver doesn't have that, so you kind of have to practice and get used to the feel. Another difference between a, an impact driver and a drill is a drill will have a three-jaw chuck, which you can put most any shank bits or uh, driving bits, drill bits, any of that in there, and tighten them up nicely with the chuck. An impact driver has a quarter-inch quick connect chuck, which you slide forward and you slide your bit in. For example, this Phillips driving bit, put it in there and slide it in place. Now it locks in securely, but you're limited to only using bits that have a quarter-inch quarter hex shank on them. But regular driving bits, such as this one, can twist under the impact of those hammering impact forces because it'll, it can just, if you're doing a lot of screws, this, the steel is just not made to withstand those forces. It'll hold up for a few here and there, but just for, if you're doing, going to do a lot, you should really look into getting something new that's uh, out there. It's impact-ready driver bits from several manufacturers right now on the market. Uh, these, these are made from forged steel rather than cast so that they can withstand those forces and then they won't twist or break off on you. It's easier to see how the impact driver's function works rather than have me explain it. So here's a little animated clip that'll show you how that works inside the, the impact driver while it's driving a fastener. Inside the driver are a hammer, an anvil, and a spring. When the driver encounters resistance, the spring pulls the hammer back as it winds itself tighter. When the hammer clears the lugs on the anvil, the hammer plunges forward, unleashing the power stored in the spring and striking the anvil. This burst of torque is what allows impact drivers to drive screws into tough material. Now let me show you how a 12 volt impact driver works versus an 18 volt. When using a 12 volt to drive a screw into this treated pine, the impact driver kicks in almost immediately. With the 18 volt, the screw is driven deeper before the impact kicks in, and it takes fewer impacts to drive the screw. Now let's look at the same tools driving screws into hard maple. Here's the 12 volt. And here's the 18. You can see the harder wood demanded a lot more impact torque. The 18 volt handled it much quicker than the 12 volt. So that's an impact driver. It, it'll never really fully replace your cordless drill. It's always a good tool to have because you'll need it for doing your drilling. And, and it's a good tool for driving screws as well. This, an impact driver is just a good supplemental tool to add to your cordless line.